Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Bethel Evangelical Free Church Hanley. I'm Pastor Gervais Charney. This is another church in the Shropshire Hills series. This is the Church of St. John the Baptist, Nash. Nash is not a parish of its own, but it is a portion, along with uh, Boriston, the neighbouring village, of the parish of Burford. And so the church here is a, say it's a portion rather than a, a full parish. It's part of a very big parish. It's a small village. The church here is basically 13th century with Victorian alterations and with a 12th century origins. So we'll have a look around, see some of the features. It's another one where the Victorians have taken all the plaster off the walls and made it a bit gloomy on the inside, but never mind. That's some good Victorian features to slightly make up for that. We start, as usual, at the west end, at the back of the church. The font is a, a recut Norman tub, so it's uh, no longer circular, it's now octagonal. You can see the Victorian rood screen there, and the Victorian aisle, the north aisle. There is here a piece of uh, fl um, Belgian glass, I think, believes that it looks like Belgian glass. Christ is the man of sorrows. It's a fairly gloomy church, as I say, largely because of the wall plaster just not being here, but also because of quite a lot of stained glass windows and some very small windows. There's the beer, a wheeled example, late 19th century, I expect. And here we have um, Here we have the um, one of the Victorian windows. This is a memorial to the relation to the Church of the National Association of Boys Clubs Training Centre, which was based at Nash Court between 1949 and 1977. Uh, Church of England Boys Clubs, uh, the idea of uh, youth clubs, it's somewhere to uh, for young people to keep out of trouble, also to, to go to socialise and have fun and meet up with friends. And the, the heyday was indeed that period between the end of the, really the end of the Second World War and the 1970s as course, television takes over, unfortunately. Victorian columns here. I'm sure there are there's lights in here, but I didn't feel like putting them all off. And we have here arms of Hill impaling Powys, uh, just to do with Andrew Hill, and then big house families here. We've got remains of a box pew at the front there. Eagle lectern, again, this rood screen is Victorian. We have various figures. You see there, John the Baptist. Not sure who this figure here is, but we'll soon find. I think it's probably John the Evangelist, who's normally depicted as a teenage boy and a young teenage boy because he lived to such a, a great age that they reckon he must have been very very young. Here we have Christ the King and Christ the Good Shepherd. So yes, two Johns, John the Baptist, John the Evangelist. Um, the organ here, it's a, a nice case. Don't know anything else about it. Chancel, not a lot to see here, but we do have uh, Lucy Elder's daughter and co heiress of Thomas Hill of Court of Hill. Um, and so she dies. Uh, 1866. Um, by her daughter, Lady Hastings, because the Hastings family are associated with uh, the evangelical movement in the Church of England. But the war memorial is unusual. It's the chancel step, it's the altar steps, and then the chancel steps here are the memorial for the, the men killed in the Second World War. So unusual, and it's kind of difficult when you're using steps that have got uh, people names on them. The altar, you've got this embroider, embroidery on it, and a relatively simple reredos, uh, credence shelf here, as the ascension. East window, we've got uh, Raising of Drives' daughter, then we've got uh, Christ crucified in the middle and, and Christ walking on the water 
on the other side. And scenes to do with the resurrection, and this is in memory of Ada Mary Hill Lowe. And you can see that she has been, um, her, her photograph has been used to make the image of Mary Magdalene there. Victorian piscina with brain. There, although it's a, a rude screen, it's not actually a rude, is it? It's a, a statue of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ standing on top. So back through the chancel screen, the end of a simple interior. Not a lot of memorials even, which is interesting given the association with uh, the big house. And it's Christ, the friend of little children. Um, in memory of God in love. Dear God, in memory of Arthur. Lot of McLaughlin, who died February the 20th, 1847, aged five months. This sort of thing is very common, a memorial to a child who has died. Courage and loyalty, in memory of Major Sir Robert Dalrymple Arbuthnot, 24 Lance, was killed in Normandy June the 20th, 1944, aged 24 years. And again, we've got the memorials, hill, Marshy Hill memorials, and again, it's to do with the family, of course, at the court. And there's the font again, and above the door we have the, and the zinc plates. Ye children of men, bless ye the Lord. And so that is the inside here at Nash. Largish, but quite simple and very much Victorianized. And so here we are outside at Nash, against a, a long building. There's no structural division visible on the outside anyway between nave and chancel. It's got a little broach spire, which is a little bit decrepit at the moment. Again, it's a wooden spire on this nice unbuttressed tower. So we'll have a look around the outside and point out some of the salient features. So again, long low building. You see there, there's the restored churchyard cross. We've had a Anglo-Catholic ministry at some point, and you can see there the tower and the weather vane leaning at a drunken angle atop the spire. The old, there's the Lich Gate and across the road to the old village school, which dates, was rebuilt in the 1890s. Of course, it's not used anymore as a school. It's now in private hands. It's busy as the workshop. The church has a 19th century wooden porch, and inside there's a simple doorway. Nothing notable like the, sort of the Norman stuff that you find in some of the other local churches. Quite a uh, rough tower. It's got some issues with it. I mean, the spire called Lini is why you've got those barriers there to say, please do not come any closer to this building because something might fall off and hit you and it would be your own fault if it did because we're making sure that you can't get too close. But it's a shame, but again, it's one of those things that they will make repair, or they're, they're fund raising funds to make repair. You can see here that uh, there's a Norman window there, but it's partially fallen out. There's no glass in there, just a cage to keep birds from getting in. And this would have been the access for the Big House family back in the day. And lastly, of course, for the, the lads from the uh, um, Boys Club Training Centre, because they use it for camps and that kind of thing. So here's the aisle. See the vestry at the end there. It is all very typically Victorian. They did like their vestries in Victoria. And part of it is because you've now got this idea that you know, the, the clergyman shouldn't come to the church in his uh, clerical outfit. He should get dressed in, in it when he gets there. You can see the old school again. So. Yes, 13th century chancel there, and there's that rather nice lich gate. Not very old, but quite nice. It's uh, still in relatively good condition. Again, the, the cross has been restored. Look at that 
that's the Victoria in the top part to it. So that is, and we come around here, there's the, the priest's store and rubble stonework. May very well have been rendered at one point, but has been exposed. There's that nice variety of stone in there. And so there we have it, St John the Baptist, Nash, first portion of Burford Parish. Obviously, Burford itself is not the first portion, but this is, it's a lovely building in many ways. It's a little bit uh, rickety in places now, but it's still, still used. Uh, we have a service here now once a month. It's in so many places, sadly, there just really aren't enough people to carry on weekly services in some of these parishes and it's easier to have services with more people in fewer churches. Well, thank you for watching, and may God bless you and keep you until next time.